There is a streamer by the name of Jupi and he does some crazy things on stream and this time he did a tank test in deep wilderness with a max cash tag in his inventory. A bunch of clans were out to get him and then there was me in full D hide, an AGS and a void waker. Oh my god, I got a key. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got the kill! No way, no way, no way, no way. No way I got the kill! Oh my god, I got the max kill! On Jupiter the streamer, he did a max tank test. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! I got max PK! I got the PK! I got it! Oh my, I'm, I'm panicking right now. Oh my god, uh, boom, bro. <laughs> yep, my biggest PK ever on RuneScape, 2.2 bill, took it from the clans. I feel like I deserve a like from all of you. I recently decided that I want to be a better PVMer in this game, so I went for the 500 T way. No! Oh my god, I did it. I completed a 500. It's over. Give me the kit. Give me the fan kit. Attach. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm never coming back to 500. I've always wanted to try out Frame's idea of PKing players who enters the rev caves by using Dragon Claws. No. So we're doing that for like 10 hours. Oh my god, I double spec him to max it. Thank you 110 mil, his name was. I hope you didn't protect the item. 3 mil. Dead. Two very big hits, and he is dead. That was a Surf Helm as well on him. Nine mil, that's nice. I will be scouting on three accounts at the Ferox Enclave, and if I do see someone with risk on a pure bracket, I will go for them. Good fight. I didn't even TB him, and he's down. A pin code into a 3.5 mil PK. As I'm editing this video, I just realized that there's a Factor 75 box in the loot key. And coincidentally, this video is sponsored by Factor 75. Do you want to improve your diet? Do you want to stop eating fast food and eating healthy food that is ready quickly? Factor's chef prep meals take the guesswork out of eating well, so you never have to opt for something that isn't good for you. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in 2 minutes or less even faster than ordering in. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie, or vegan and vegetarian lifestyle. And if you're into fitness, it all starts with the diet and the food. And Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. Ingredients with integrity and a dietitian approved. There's also a huge variety of different meals to pick from. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGENGINEERNOV50 for 50% off your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Who is this guy? Skuld? Shane Mace? Level 112 and he's running. 3, 2, 1. Oh. Dead. Oh! What a 64 for the KO! Man, Kevin, thank you for this method, I love it. I'm just enjoying it, it's fun. GP per hour is not that much, but 13 mil? He didn't protect the Ursin chain maze! This is the tile I stand on whenever I see someone in the Ferox Enclave because as soon as they run out of the safe zone, I can tell block them. Dead. That was a quick kill, okay he says. 
I even spellbook swap for him when I didn't need to. 7.5 mil. Ah, oh, the light bear too. Ah, oh, I'm happy. The high risk hardcore Iron Man streamer and YouTuber Fuse is known for paying PKers for off if they find his hardcore Iron Man in the wilderness. And for some reason he tweeted out this, a bug that occurred due to shooting stars. But what I see is him being in the wilderness, him having a second account with player indicator on in the minimap, his hardcore Iron Man logging out, and his friend chat showing in the chat box. And with this information I know that he's doing spindle with two scouts outside, and I know his world by joining his clan chat, and then claim some GP just for not killing him. There's his scouts. There he is, and he's gone. <laughs> I feel so bad, but I'm gonna take this mill. And I'm not, I, I wasn't even going to PK him at all. But 20 mil for 10 minutes of work, very easy GP, I will take it. I'm showing you unusual mana makers right now, and one of them is if you watch skills picks, he occasionally does LMS, and if you kill him, you get 25 mil, and you risk nothing doing this. I'm fighting skills picks right now. Uh, what? That's uh, the freest 25 mil of my life. What? Man! Don't say it! No! I jumped on another account and I found skills picks again. And I killed skills picks again. He so badly didn't want to give me 25 mil because I was venging the entire fight. Uh, so he's giving me 15 mil. Which means 40 mil profit, that is 5 bonds, I will take it. Say something, it's the engineer TYT. Nah. No, 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 see, yo, see engineer bro, see engineer. Yo, TY brother, no! This guy is panicking, and he's dead. Good fight, man. 50-50 Zerg is down. What do we get in our key? Ooh, 8 mil, the Accursed Scepter, Berserker Necklace. That's an odd setup. I do enjoy the occasional TOA raid, and I did get some free-for-all purples. Fang. Nice little free-for-all Fang. 30 mil. Remember when you said Fang, we'd prefer the Shadow Split? Yo, yeah. this light bear split is gonna go crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. Did I not say a fang split? Did I not Dude, say a fang split? You did say a fang split. <laughs> 10 millers each. I decided to stand in high risk worlds for a few hours on multiple accounts to see if someone actually brings risk into these worlds. Because as soon as you enter these worlds, you risk everything you got. Who's this? Three hit. He was risking too. He had a dragon crossbow, high risk world, so it was called 3.3 mil. Don't get a gap, don't get a gap, don't. Thank you. Dead. Oh, we smited. Wait. Can't smite, it's a high risk world. <gasps> no way! It was an ultimate Iron Man. I just killed an ultimate Iron Man. I didn't even know. Had I known, I don't know if I still would have killed him or not. Yeah, he wasn't risking that much as an ultimate Iron Man, so I think it's fine. One mil PK though from an ultimate. I also camped a lever in high risk worlds for five hours, but I only found one guy and he was risking 200k. I 3 hit this man. I didn't record it, but I killed Skillsmix again on a new account. Uh, thank you for 20 mil, thank you very much. Smokemus! <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy! Thanks, it's the engineer.
Dude, nah, 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 no, it's not, dude. That's the third time, bro. You're actually such a sad rat. Dude, how much have I given you, bro? No way, dude, nah, man. Bonding up new account for the fourth kill. I recently went to TwitchCon with some of your favorite content creators, but before I show you that video, I got one final clip from Deadman Mode that I've never shown before. Jupiter the streamer was running around with 600 mil risk on Deadman Mode, and I decided to fight him. Oh my god. Oh my, I killed Max. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a Max kill on Jupy again. 685 mil. Oh my god. I ended up swapping the entire gear back to 07 for 600 mil. In this video alone, I think I've made almost 3 bill. Play for EOZ. Whoa! 72 again! Uh, How? Back to Flux Fiat. If you're sensitive to alcohol or gambling, feel free to skip the rest of the video. We ended our Las Vegas trip by putting all of our money on red. But before you find out if we won, Let's go back to day one. It all started with me meeting the person who PK'd my 16 bill bounty PvP hardcore Iron Man. There is the man who PK'd my PvP hardcore Iron Man for 16 bill. There he comes. He almost took me out in real life too. Day two, I ended up meeting some of your favorite creators. We went to Grand Canyon. We had everyone lining up to take the exact same picture as well. Even Dino got into a very nice pose for his. I just can't smile. Oh, you vlog? Oh, oh. <laughs> this is Aisa's favorite burger of all time. <laughs> Reese just doesn't drink this stuff. Day 3, we ended up going to a content creator party with like 30 content creators from the RuneScape section. <laughs> And as soon as we arrive, Solo Mission takes down the events banner. We also ended up going to the based house party. It was over 100 people here, and it was like a mini rune fest. No matter where you look, there was a new RuneScape creator from across the world everywhere. I've lost count of the days, but we ended up having a fancy dinner on top of this track tower in Vegas. We had some really nice Wagyu steaks, and for some reason Torvesta decides to get his steak well done with ketchup. After dinner, Torvesta and Reese were messing with each other, and surprisingly, even though Reese is a very big guy, he is extremely fast. This guy was right. Oh my god. He escaped! 99 agility! <laughs> the view here was great, we took some cute pictures, and Solo Mission has been on his phone the entire trip because he needs 99 fletching for a video. Oh no, Solo Mission, you're recording me. <laughs> man, man's playing RuneScape in Vegas. Go on, I'm not, I'm not. We did end up going to TwitchCon for one of the days, but in my opinion, it's not really that worth it. We met a few content creators, but RuneFest is 100 times more fun and 100 times better. Me and Aisa, we went to the Fremont Street and took the zip line that goes all over the street so you can see the casinos you can see the people and all the performances on that street it's pretty cool we got super addicted to gambling in vegas so we started doing bottle flips at home for 20 bucks oh! Oh! the brand new sphere was pretty cool we went to a show inside but we did notice there was a missing pixel on the screen but now for the moment you all have been waiting for did we win the group shock the final day in the casino or did we lose? I think the pot was around 3k in total, so a lot of money in stake. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and remember to